So, is there something that Samantha uh, craves for, you know, looks for in in your own life? Is there something that you... In my own life? Um, well... Is I'm peace looking, something that... Yeah, I'm looking for... Um, like I said, I've just been so caught up in, you know, with work. I, I'm looking to find uh, stability and peace outside of work too. Usually yeah. my work is my yoga, you know. I, I'm, I forget everything when I'm in front of the camera and, uh, you know, I just give it my all. Uh, I, I'm just looking for something else to replace, for, you know, this as well. I, I want to look, I look at stability in my personal life and calmness yeah. there too. Right. So, uh, Samantha, you're a uh, role model for a lot of people. Is there any advice you want to give to people who look up to you? Uh, well, you know, I think that uh, I'm just like anybody else, you know, and uh, anybody can have a dream, uh, you know, well, I'm a clear example of anybody can have a dream, you know, you come from nothing, um, so you j dream big, but dreaming big also comes with a lot of hard work. You know, a, a lot of breaking down, but coming back up. And I have broke down in front of the whole world. Like everybody saw that I broke down. Yeah. Um, I and it's okay. You know, it, it's okay to break down. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay to not want to get out of bed uh, on some days. And uh, it's okay to have heartbreaks. It's okay to have relationships fail. Um, all these things are okay you know everybody has it in their life maybe not many people talk about it but uh, I would like to say that you know I have well well I have uh, um, been a bad uh, daughter I have said lies I have um, been in bad relationships I have uh, uh, you know not been the best friend uh, you know the, not been the, so it's okay I, I, I have been there you know and I've come past all these things and um, so I'm, I just want to say that it's okay uh, you know you can do it there's never too late to get up and be better and work harder uh, only thing that I would say is work hard work really really hard you know don't expect anybody else to do it for you don't expect your mom or your dad or your boyfriend or your husband uh, to do the hard work for you, do it yourself. Right. Um, would you want to talk about Pratyusha Foundation? You know, you started it off after what you went through in your life and then you, you just wanted to help a lot of people. So, uh, what got you to, what was the trigger point, you know? Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, see, I've always wanted to do it. Uh, uh, I've always wanted to do it. My mom has been extremely, you know, ins I've been inspired by her growing up, you know. But I've never, again, like I was so self-centered in whole my rise to stardom and my uh, uh, my work and, you know, I, I, I never really, uh, I thought about it but never really did anything about it. I, but when I went, uh, when I came back after that whole period, I said, okay, fine. It's no longer about you, you know. It's no longer about the person in the mirror. It, there's something bigger. And um, that's when Pratyusha happened and I'm really, really happy because Pratyusha has given me a lot of peace and confidence. Like when um, materialistic things, you know, they give you very uh, pleasure, uh, pleasure or happiness very temporarily. But when you see the faces of, you know, kids, parents, you see the that you know they got their you know their kid back. You, you nothing else can give you that happiness like like the face of a mother who, who you know who just got back her child. And um, I think that it does a lot for me. Uh, Pratyusha does a lot for me. Um, well, I have to thank my mother for that because growing up we were from a very difficult. Uh, I had a very difficult upbringing. And even then, my mom used to give, you know, if anybody came and asked, she would give. So when I have this much, I don't think anybody in my family, including me, had uh, never dreamt that I would, you know, be this well settled. Right. So when I have this, and there are, let's face it, it, let's be honest, there are 
hundreds of girls who are beautiful there are hundreds of girls who might be talented uh, but there's only like three to four girls who are up there you know who do the same with the, who do the big films who are who are up there who became who could become big stars now i would say that it's not all them it's not all you if you think that it's all you you're stupid if you think that it's because of your hard work it's because you are so beautiful that you're up there it you're really stupid it, it has a lot to do with with luck with destiny and so i think that for me to sleep well every night and be like wake up in the morning and feel good about myself i have to give back you know Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I wake up in the morning and saying, "Why are you even in this position? It's not worth it at all. You are not worth it at all. You know what are you doing to make yourself worth being in this position?" And I think Pratyusha is an answer to that. Hey, wow, okay, <laughs> profound. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you've always said that um, your mom never uh, wanted to know, or probably didn't know what you were doing or what kind of position you are in. So, uh, looking back. Um, How, how does she feel about what you have achieved from uh, MIHSA way to AA? Uh, uh? Well, uh, I've never been the person who, you know, when I have really bad days, like call up my mom and cry uh, because I really don't like her. She'll get very upset if I'm upset. Um, so they don't know much actually. They don't know that I'm Samantha and you know what. Uh, how many people love me they don't follow twitter they don't you know see and they don't come to any of my audio releases or any of these functions so they're quite blissfully unaware <laughs> <laughs> about uh, my position but i think the proudest that i've seen her was probably when i took her to uh, to hospitals and you know things connected to pratyusha uh, so she's extremely proud of me i know that and uh, i'm um, I'm very happy that you know I, I I'm a good mix of my dad and my mom, <laughs> so I I think that I have a lot to be thankful for to both of them. Right, Sam, you've been very very independent. Um, be it shoots, I don't see your parents travel with you. So is that how you are as a person, very independent, very sorted about? Yeah, what I you I started working. I think since from the age, from the age of like fourteen, you know, fifteen, I, I I studied and I would work. You know, and I've done all sorts of odd jobs. Like even um, you know now when I go to weddings you know and uh, I always smile at these girls you know and the two girls who who put who who yeah, uh, yeah who the, I have done that job as well oh. you know and they used to pay thousand rupees for like three hours okay so that's what I meant like girls dream dream really big you know it's it, it, I I in, I'm not uh, embarrassed that that's where I came from I'm really proud. because it took a lot of work so when i go to weddings i turn around this girls and i i smile at them and and like i was there i was there i would work i would study during the day and i would do that in the night you know and it would be like i think 800 to 1000 rupees for like those 3 hours and uh, you know working through college paying through college and i think i became a fighter really really young right so would you trade your life for something else never it through with all the hardships with everything i'm really glad because everything made me what i am today uh, so finally what does a day of being samantha feel like mm, feel like very normal other, other than the fact that my work is ha- is all glitz and glamour otherwise my life is extremely normal i i, I hardly go out that much and uh, um I love my bed and my movies and and staying at home that's me very very normal quite boring actually I know <laughs> I should come up a bed with a better answer in the next interview at least something like fancy or something you know sound less boring 